Well, hi there, friends. Hi. Well, hi. <laughs> um, so we're, today we're taking you to the smallest city in the world. But it might not actually be the smallest city in the world. It's just what like proud Belgians or whatever call it, I guess. I don't know. But it is a very small city and a very beautiful one. It's um, definitely the smallest city in Belgium. Yeah, and it is like tiny. Like, for sure, for sure. Like if you like, maybe like the Vatican, Vat Vatican city, like Vatican. it's smaller, but you know, that's, is that a city, you know, like, I don't know. So like it might be the smallest city in the world, actually. Um, well, it's a beautiful Belgian day. Um, like a typical Belgian day. Actually, it's it's kind of kind of rainy, you know. Like it's been, like weather's pretty bad. <laughs> actually, but, uh, it's I something like it. that I've hated always while growing up. But I actually started appreciating the rain so much more after traveling to dry countries. Yeah, me too. I love rain. Yeah, I love it. I don't. Well, I'm I'm sure I don't love arid like an arid climate. You know, like I'm not good in dry weather. Well, anyway, so we're taking you to Durbuy. Um The name is derived from an old Celtic word, which means settlement near, or like place near a settlement or something like that. Um, it's, uh, it lays, like it's situated on the river, the Urte, the Urt, I don't know how you, like how you that, pronounce yeah. that in English, but well, anyway, it's near a river. Um, it has beautiful medieval architecture. Um, beautiful buildings and has some megalithic structures, uh, thousands of years old. Like I just read up on one, which is five thousand years old. So we'll try to visit one of those sites. Take you guys with us. See what there's to do here in the city of uh, Derby. Well, also I want to uh, say to you guys sorry for not uploading as much as I was doing in Asia but in Asia I had some I had money to live and right now like I just stopped working my job in an elementary school just to get some extra money you know I need to save up some more to go to the States again with whatever um, like I'm, I'm trying to find something nice or try to finally get my website gigs going but we'll see um, but anyways I just had like a full-time job for a month so it was really hard to um, Combine that with like looking going to nice places and vlogging and uh, all that stuff Because um, I came home from India and like within three days. I was just like working in a in the school. So it was kind of a pretty heavy transition just for a while, but uh, um, I'm glad I have some time now I can vlog again uh, Who knows what adventures? Uh, we're gonna have all of us together, you know with, um, us two and you couch travelers or random travelers you know um, you guys might be travelers too um, but well yeah all right welcome to Derby you see the castle in the background and you see like all the old buildings I really love this vibe so we're in the southern part of Belgium now in the province of Luxembourg um, is it Luxembourg? This is Luxembourg, oh. province of Lux Luxembourg, yeah. um, not the country. Um, yeah, well anyways I like the southern part of Belgium slightly more, you know, like it has more buildings made out of natural stone, more nature. It's like a hilly, hilly environment with more forest than in the north. So, like I personally prefer the southern part to the north. A wee bit more. Yeah, just a wee bit. A wee bit. But it's all good, you know, like there's beautiful things everywhere. That's a beautiful house. Yeah, look, it's such like, it's so cozy. Yeah, I really love this. Oh, I'm, I'm not a Derby expert or anything, so I don't know a lot about it. Uh, all the old buildings or how old they actually are, what the names are, but I'll try to do my very best to, uh, well, to be of some value to you guys. There's the castle. I think the Urte is like right over there. We might be able to see it. 
I love medieval castles though, they're so cool. You literally, you can see the clouds behind me, you know, typical Belgian day. Like, if you ever come here, you have a 50% chance of it being a day like this. Well, it adds to like the gritty or like the gloomy feeling of the Middle Ages, of course, so, you know, it's an experience. That's a special house over there and like the wood structure you see it also in the house over there the wood structure reminds me of like the older houses in Germany it's like pretty typical in Germany Maybe we should try like a beer again later, you know? I'm hungry. Some good Belgian beers. I'm hungry. Hungary. Yeah. I really well, like oh, sorry. I really like all these small stores. It's yeah, really nice. yeah, it's indeed. Like small little gift stores and cigarettes. Tea. The church. All right, Le Chateau. So I'll translate because the English part is uh, gone. So the castle um, is property of the family Dursel and was built around 1880. Whoa, I thought this was gonna be like older. It's on the same place oh. the, the castle that we was always. Always, so dude. So they might have used the same stones to rebuild it. And so the first um, the mentions, first yeah, the first mentions go back to the 11th century, and the 13th century, Dubuis was part of the defense of the north of the shafts. Well, the lordship. Yeah, kind of thing. Something like that. So yeah, like I think it looks older because they might have used the same stones. I don't think we can enter, which is a shame. Oh well. We go. That's fine. We go on. Just go on. Well, it's still weird for me to vlog, man. You know, being around all these people. You know, in India, I kind of got kind of get used to it because like everybody's looking at you anyways a lot of the times for... but yeah here in Belgium I'm not used to people looking and now that I'm vlogging sometimes people do so it's kind of well I need to get used to it probably want to go back actually. yeah yeah this is the end of the city we just walk through the city Sixteen thirty-two, right? I it's like the letters. Like, yeah. Like, it's like a parchment scripture. Yeah. Old. Kind of old starts starting to like yeah. rain. We're but starting we getting wet. Some we rocks. Really There's some rocks over there, guys. Rocks. This is for our Bulgarian friends, if you're watching, they wanted to find an umbrella like this in India. They did. And they did, yeah. But we have one at home. Yeah, did you see that vlog, guys? Go and watch it. Yeah. It's the Triun Trek vlog. We did it with them. They're awesome people. people. We love you if you're looking, if you're seeing us. You know, we love you guys. We miss you. And we'll but well, to the there's rocks over there. And the rocks over here. It's a nice little cafe. More rocks. Close. Yeah, it is. Well, can yeah. Can't you? I think we can. We might just. Oh, oh yeah! I didn't see that little alley. This looks, this looks cozy. <laughs> yeah, it does. So maybe stay under the umbrella. With the a nice street with the, with the tree. The, the, this is the smallest street. Yeah. I like small streets. It might have some local products here. Oh yeah. You can go and take a look if you want. Seems like a lot of them, the restaurants are closed. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit eerie. Yeah. 
Oh, this birdie flew oh. against the window. Oh, yeah, he was fine. Oh. Uh, poor birdie. <laughs> he was fine. He was. He sure was. We saw a big old buck before. Yeah. Big old buck. Huge antlers. Three of them. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so it's, it's kind of a rare sight in Belgium, I guess. You know, yeah, I, I, mean, I don't see them a lot. It's cool because the full moon that just passed, I think they call it the buck moon. I love all these natural stones, man. You so beautiful. What? The full moon that just passed, the one of June. I think they call it the buck moon. Oh, yes. So it was an omen that we're yeah, on the right track. For sure, man. I'm happy we have this umbrella. It's so much more cozy to have an umbrella than to wear a raincoat. Yeah, but I do wish I also had my raincoat. Really? Yeah, why not, you know? I like umbrellas. What does the price say? We are getting hungry, so we have to check. So, this is French, but for a croissant, um, a fresh a juice, juice and, an, and a hot drink, like tea or coffee, it's 10 euros. <laughs> so, that's... A lot. Huh. Um, then you have um, pancakes with jam and chocolate, uh, self-made chocolate spread, I guess. A fruit salad, fresh juice, and a warm drink for 14 euros. You know, I don't know. It's kind of a lot, but it's uh, it's fine for Belgian derby prices. It's a cozy place, but we can. Oh, I like the little building. Right yeah, there. yeah, it's beautiful, right? Maybe we can walk a bit further. Yeah, it's starting to rain pretty bad though. Come that way, right? Yeah, that yeah, way we did. Right? Yeah, we do. Me? Yeah, that's easy, right? I You're like right. An umbrella. You're right. <laughs> well, you can choose. Okay, I think we came from that way. Yeah, we did. So, so we, we go in here okay. and we explore some more yeah. in the rain. I explore. Ooh. Yes. But it's closed. Is it closed? Yeah. Why is it burning then? I don't know. Are you sure it's closed? Well, I don't know. It well, is. We have more answers. Fer Fermé la mercredi. It's closed on Wednesday. I think a lot of things are closed on Wednesday. It seems yeah, a little seems bit like abandoned. Right. <laughs> but I really love this view in okay, the rain, cool. man. But we came, almost came this way. Some more. I think we chose the wrong day to come to Yeah, Italy. well, well, we maybe, but maybe it's the perfect day because there's not a lot of people Close. on the street. No, that's true. Ah, oh, this is like a nice little restaurant. Maybe the inside, the left one, maybe the inside is open. This looks cozy. Yeah. Oh, and there's a pear tree growing against the oh, against really the nice um, wall. That's so beautiful. Oh, that's really beautiful. Oh, the door. Yeah, the door is also really beautiful. Well, mochi. <laughs> that's not good. And look at the like the the plant growing against the wall here. Yeah. But uh. Grandfather's always Should making a big boys? fuss out of these plants and we're like, oh no, these plants, they're like, eat your walls and like, that might, might be the case, you know, but, but that doesn't, it doesn't take away the fact that it's so beautiful against it's these natural true. stones. It's true. Rain's getting better. Yes. Our tip, choose a rainy day because it's cozy. Yeah. <laughs> Take a big old umbrella. And you're good to go. You're good to go. It's, oh, this is the menu. Thought maybe it was gonna say also how much rooms are here, but it doesn't. What is Linda called in English again? Linden? Linden? The mm -hmm. Linden tree? Yeah. I love Linden trees, man. Mm -hmm. And they're growing. Growing, growing. Alright, so we picked a place where we uh, um, 
which we showed the menu to you guys. Um, it's raining, yeah, but we are sitting outside under this umbrella because then we have a view on the castle. And I just in general like sitting outside. I don't always like music choices in places like this. Um, so yeah. Bonjour. Uh, 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 sorry? Um, well, we were good here. I like, I like taking, sitting outside. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so here's a menu. Like, it's like five to six euros and a half for like a heavy beer, uh, which I think is actually quite a lot. So like, even for just like water, it's three euros, which is I don't know. I think it's I think it's quite expensive. It is. Got ordered the burger, which is twenty two euros, which is ugh. and then I ordered meatballs, which is eight euros, which is also kind of. Ooh. But well, like, when in Rome, you know? Yeah, when in Derby. When in Derby. It's also raining, so it's not that we're gonna do a lot, so all uh, we can do is eat. Yeah, and also I ordered, um, I think, like, a, a, a white trappist, we call it. Um, like, I don't know too much about beers, you know, but, um, like, it's, it might be like a heavy wise beer or something. Um, yeah. Like so many different beers in Belgium, it's hard to keep track. It's five euros and a half, which is also like it's all really pricier in Derby actually. But uh, yeah, you know, like it's really beautiful, so I get it. You can see the castle. All right, so here is a wise beer. Um, we got some olives. Tea was also really expensive, like five euros. I think. You know, like a euro is about a dollar and seven or eight cents. So let's say a dollar ten. So it's about like five dollars and a half for my beer was six dollars. Which in the States is like regular, maybe even not that expensive for a good beer, like for a craft beer, let's say. But uh, here it kind of is. Well, I'm gonna um, pour in my beer like I did in the last video in Deest. Um, and I did like a like I didn't do a great job at it, but Kato's gonna film me again. And I'm gonna do my Round best to two. be a good Belgian citizen. All right, that's the that's better. Beer. So this is the way we pour a beer in Belgium. I think you know there's probably some like beer uh, experts who say like you don't like uh, pour in a wise beer like that you know I don't know but uh, I'll enjoy so this beer is the first Trappist white ale in the world since when was this beer it's brewed? Been brew it's been it has been brewed within the walls of the abbey of Onsenie the Brau van Koningshoeve since 1884. Since 1884. Okay, and I think it's still the only tra tra Trappist white beer uh, there is. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But yeah. so it was made in the Netherlands. I never it's really had like a craft beer. beer from the Netherlands, but it's actually really good, you know? So, um, well, I'm enjoying it. It's like, I, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, these monks have been doing it longer than we exist. Definitely. <laughs> a lot longer. Mm. But like, it's a very smooth um, beer, not too like bitter. Um, just like a slightly fruit, like slightly fruity, slightly citrusy or hoppier. I really like it. So, like the Tasty. drinking is smooth. Yeah, it goes in quickly. <laughs> and dangerous, probably, you know, like on a good night. But uh, yeah, very tasty. So we got burger. Looks good. Homemade mayo, some salad and uh, Belgian fries. Um, then some meatballs and some ragu or like meat sauce, salad, only mayonnaise and fries. We do need some salt, man. Salt. Did they bring salt? No. no I think we should All right. So yeah, here it is. It's gonna be tasty. Let let me taste one of those fries. Well, nice. They're good. Mm, they're tasty. Homemade fries are better, or like from a fry place are also better. Also, the secret of just Belgian fries, probably in the potatoes too, you know, I'm not sure, but definitely is just like to, like, I'm gonna let you in on a secret here. Like, mine might not be a secret, I consider it a secret, but uh, it's just to 
pre-fry your fries for just like one or two minutes. Pre-fry them, get them out, um, let them cool down for a bit, so let the oil get off, and then fry them again. And that's how you get like golden brown, crispy fries, soft on the inside. And then just like some homemade mayo, man, you know, that's the best. You can buy, buy proper mayo in a store. Yeah, that's a... Uh, that's the Belgian secret. All right, so the uh, megalithic structures that we're gonna take a look at is a drive away, not too far, maybe like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Anyway, I think see. Only eight minutes. Oh, all right. Well, I'll see you guys there. So there's some traffic, some cows that are crossing, and there's like. See the, um, oh yeah, some of the megaliths. So there's cows that, that are crossing and there's this little child, like maybe seven, yeah, six, I'd say something like that. and he's just like, he's just standing he there, standing yeah, there. guiding the cows and just making sure they're going there's the right the way. I love it. He knows, oh, there's another child on the other side, a little bit older, they have like little overalls, they know what they're doing. All right, so here we are at the megalithic structure of the tribes that lived here 5,000 years ago. Let's see what the sign says. You're just not allowed to go on the rocks. Not on the rocks, do not climb the rocks, I'm do not, not sure camp what here. This side means. Do not <laughs> hang put things, things on a tree. I'm not sure. But so, I present you guys rocks. More rocks over there. We will also go look at the like the solid structure over there. I wonder what they use it for, man. Like I don't know, like some I'm praying to the gods. They're pagan gods. No, like like I really respect them and uh, stuff like that. You know, I think it's so cool that like these tribes lived here and built this thousands of years ago when all this land was still like the natural the way it was completely natural like okay they probably farmed you know but uh yeah that's pretty cool you know the, the site is ancient it's ancient you, you know like normally five thousand years old but look at these rocks, how big they are, man, you know? <laughs> like some solid power, man. Some solid, like, manpower? I don't know. I don't know if, like, me and, like, 30 other guys can lift this rock, man. It's crazy. So cool. I wonder what they use it for. Damn. So old. Something that was worth the effort. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. Maybe just shelter, but that would be strange. There's yeah. caves and like. Probably yeah. a sacred. I think a lot of the, the things that were put this much effort in was was this for a sacred goal. Yeah. Like, not a goal, but like a sacred. Or like a communal yeah. space where they would come together. Yeah. Um, to do stuff, to yeah, do indeed, stuff. man. <laughs> to do magic. <laughs> no, it's not true. It seems but, like it has a sacred vibe to it. Yeah. We also, uh, especially Caro, is use, um, learning a lot about herbs and wild plants. And so here they are, man, you know, like just the stinging nettles. We use them so much. We make food out of them. We make medicine out of them. We use the seeds. It's my and, favorite plant. Yeah, like it's such an amazing plant and it grows everywhere here in Belgium. Just everywhere, like you can make rope out of them, um, and they're like the rope is so strong. Um, well, clothes, clothes um, and so like these people 5,000 5, years ago were also using just these plants that are growing right here, you know. So it's so nice to learn more about all of it. But yeah, first time I ever see a megalithic site in Belgium. Ancient codes coming true. Yeah. Thank you, ancient peeps, for blowing my mind. Pretty cool. I'm gonna sit on that bench.
blowing mine since 3000 BC. So also the road uh, next to the um, structures here used to be a Roman road and they found some gold coins, all that stuff. But um, they like opened it and took away the Roman road in um, the year 2000. So only 20 years ago they take away like a Roman road, you know. But well, I think these might still be stones from the road, you see. I think the they side. are. I read something about the farmers moving them aside because otherwise they would be on the road. I think it might actually still be. Well, still pretty cool. Okay, to the next side. Alright, arriving at the next ancient spot. There's more rocks. Surprise, surprise. No, there, these are the men here. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. What a crazy place, man. So we have this. I think it's hollow on the inside. I'll try to show you guys. Wow, look at this rock. Oh yeah, that's so cool, man. That's insane. So they carved it? I, I guess. guess. That's, that's so really cool. cool. And we have the men here over there I'll quickly show you guys and then I'm gonna take just like five or ten minutes to sit here soak it in it's a little bit on the chilly side but uh, worth it Beautiful. So, all right, we're leaving because it's starting to rain again. Um, time to go home. I'll show you my tiny house also in one of the coming videos um, and tell you more of the plans of the YouTube channel and my life and all that stuff. But anyways, a last glimpse on this beautiful structure. Um, well, for more videos about like right now Europe, you know, Belgium, maybe I'll travel Europe a little bit um, and then probably in the near future the Americas uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video, uh, it all helps out so much uh, thank you for watching, um, I'll see you in the next video